buy the dip. In this video, I talk about my top five books that I think would be absolutely worth buying the dip for. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swagglehaas. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the top five books that I think would be worth buying the dip for. Now, this is an idea that was sort of inspired from a Go Collect article that I came across the other day, uh, written by Don Y, who made an article uh, titled just that, Buying the Dip. And in that article, he mentioned a few books that he thought would be you know, good times to pick them up now in this current state where they are in the market, having been past the Disney Plus shows that they related to. Uh, and I, in this video, I thought it'd be interesting I'd kind of do sort of my own list and talk about five books that I absolutely think would be worth picking up, especially right now as the prices have really, really cooled off. So uh, I'm going to kind of go through those uh, books with you guys here today, and I'll explain to you why I think these books will definitely pick back up in the market. But before I get into the picks, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying the content, help support the channel, do one of those things, I would appreciate it. Uh, but let me just quickly give a shout out to this article right here. Uh, I will put a link in the description if you guys want to do uh, your own reading. Uh, well, in this video, I'm going to talk about you know, five books that I am really, you know, uh, bullish on overall as far as like what I think would be a good dip purchase. And one of the reasons I feel this way is that when we look at certain books that, you know, got really hot in this Disney Plus era and then cooled off because of, you know, the show being over uh, and then actually took a spike back up because of, you know, a certain kind of news that came out in the market, uh, we can actually see that those books that did take a dip have had a pretty massive recovery overall. And that would suggest that the books I'm gonna talk about later on in this video uh, can actually do the same as well. And what book am I referring to? Well, I am absolutely referring to Fantastic Four, number 94, First Appearance of Agatha Harkness. Now we got this announcement right here. This is a deadline article, Katherine Hahn to headline WandaVision spinoff, in works at Disney Plus as part of Marvel deal. So once we got this news that Katherine Hahn is going to be reprising her role, going to get her own Disney Plus show, et cetera, et cetera, uh, this book absolutely bounced back up. So let me just show you quickly the GPA analysis and you can sort of see the journey of this book. So I just picked sort of a mid grade here. This is the 6.5. You can see that, you know, uh, earlier in the year, this book took a meteoric rise all the way up through WandaVision. Once we got the reveal right around here, this was at its peak. And then after the show, it took down this, took this dip, right? And kind of cooled off. And then eventually, once we got the announcement, uh, just, you know, a couple weeks back, uh, boom, it shoots up once again right here to, you know, uh, not necessarily at its all-time high level, the 6.5 grade, but certainly back on its way to where it was, you know, hot in the market. So with that info in mind, in this video, I'm going to give you guys the top five books that are worth buying the dip for, and I will give you my reasons for that. But before before I get into the books, I do have to shout out the sponsor of this video, myslabs.com. Now, maybe you're watching a video like this, maybe you're going to get inspired to sort of buy the dip and you want to buy like a nice slab for one of these great comic books. Well, I definitely would recommend checking out myslabs.com. Now, myslabs.com, one of the best things about this particular website is that you can see right there, it's a 1% fee for sellers. So, so sellers get less fees and presumably that means that buyers can have better deals because sellers are going to keep more in their pockets. MySlabs obviously has a huge price presence in the sports cars market, but they're absolutely getting into the comic book grading market as well. So definitely go check them out. I think that they're a great company. Uh, let me play this commercial for you guys so you can get a better sense of the company and I'll see you on the other side. Tired of paying 10%, 15% or more to sell your cards, comics, and digital collectibles? How does 1% sound? Too good to be true? Well, not anymore. MySlabs.com is the web's premier user-driven marketplace for buying and selling slabbed cards, sealed wax, and now slabbed comics and digital collectibles. So the next time you're forced to pay 10% or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com and join the 1% revolution. So go check out MySlabs.com, especially if you want to buy any of these books that I'm about to talk about on the dip. So the first one that I got to talk about right here is of course, Special Marvel Edition 15. And what is the significance of this? Well, you guys know, this is the first appearance of Shang-Chi. Now, of course, we got Shang-Chi, uh, the solo film, just a few weeks back, uh, you know, definitely took the world by storm. I think it was like the highest grossing uh, film to come out of the pandemic or something like that. So uh, definitely feels like we're gonna get Simu Liu, Shang-Chi in the MCU for many years to come. And this one is really interesting to me because as I pull up the GPA analysis here, uh, let's take a look at like some of the mid grades. And this is pretty consistent with this book across the board. I mean, this is one that uh, you can see absolutely just looking at the journey of the graph here, it got 
so hot, you know, in the rise to the movie and absolutely peaked, you know, once we got that the the film out and then now just totally has fallen off the cliff as far as like a book that has gone down. Now, that might, you know, give you guys feelings of like, oh, we you should definitely not be picking up this book because oh, it's it's uh, the prices are dying, the prices are dying, but you know, this is absolutely when you should be buying these types of things. I mean, I very much doubt that this book is going to fall past its original floor, which of course you could see here in 2020. It was sitting around the you know average price range, say 239. Looks like it's 275 around here in mid 2020 for a 5.5 grade. Uh, I do not believe that it'll fall past that price point, uh, especially since now we're on the other end of it. But as you can see here, I mean, if you're looking at the average price that you can get, you know, in this last month or so, you're looking at average price 357. I mean, that's around what you would have been able to get for this book, say in February earlier this year. So like even like slightly before the craziness of the Disney Plus explosion. So definitely interesting as far as like a book that you can buy on the dip. And we all know Shang-Chi is coming back. Like there's no doubt about it that he is going to make a reappearance. And, you know, who knows when it's going to be? I mean, I could absolutely see that, you know, later on next year, they're going to say, uh, announce, oh, Simu Lu set to, Surprise, uh, surprise cameo role in whatever, Secret Invasion. Simu Liu set to show up in Armor Wars. You know, whatever the case may be, Disney will find a way to plug him in to the next installment or next, uh, you know, series of some kind. Maybe he'll show up in She-Hulk. I mean, you never really know. And when we get that news, just like the Fantastic Four 94 Agatha Harkness book, we're going to see that uh, books totally spike back up. And so you can see right here uh, across different grades, the 6.0, uh, Meteoric Rise, and then boom, we're down here on the dip, uh, you know, right around what you could have got it for at the beginning of this year. And, you know, one of the reasons why I want to point out this book so specifically is that we know that Shang-Chi is going to be an important character. I mean, they're, they're, Disney is obviously putting so many resources into Simu Liu, the character, and into Shang-Chi. I mean, they're like anointing him like a new Avenger. I mean, we got that tease, uh, spoilers here, we got that tease at the end of the film, right, where uh, he met up with Wong, and Wong was like, hey, come with me, and uh, we got to investigate the Ten Rings, et cetera, et cetera. So Shang-Chi, definitely not done in the MCU, definitely a book that is worth picking up on the dip. And when you look at these current prices, the fact that you can get this book, generally speaking, around the prices you could have got it for at the beginning of the year, uh, uh, goes to show that, you know, this is definitely a good time to buy this book because it will absolutely go back up in the future. All right, the next book that I think is worth buying the dip for is actually going to be Avengers number 196. This, of course, is the first appearance of of Taskmaster. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking the Taskmaster we got in Black Widow was underwhelming. Uh, that was not the version of the character that I love, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah, that's all totally fine and totally understandable. And maybe a lot of people were disappointed about it. But that is not to say that we will not eventually get the original Taskmaster. I mean, j we just established the fact that, you know, this suit of armor exists or this character kind of exists. But I absolutely think that the MCU was 100% setting up the fact that we are going to see Taskmaster again. I mean, again, when you don't show a character being killed, or, you know, a matter of fact, even if you do show a character being killed, the chances that they show up again are very, very high in the Marvel Universe. Again, this is another book that I feel like is worth buying the dip for, especially when you look at some of the prices that you can cu currently get this book for. Look at the book right now. So this has been the, the journey. This is a 9.6 grade. We'll get into the 9.8 in a bit. Uh, but you can see currently speaking, uh, the average price around this current time is around $403. You'd have to go all the way back to uh, last year, uh, 1130, to find those similar prices around the $403. Like we're talking August of last year. And so you can kind of just see the chart. I mean, overall, like this book, where it is currently right now, where you could probably buy it for, is generally speaking around the floor that it was like say, you know, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, et cetera. So to me, that establishes a couple things. One, there is a clear floor that this book, I do not believe will fall past. Like there's a precedent for it, you know, 9.6 hovering around that $400 range. It probably won't fall before that. Uh, but if we look at the potential of where it was, you know, at the height of Black Widow, I mean, we're talking about a book that it shows here, average price around the $750 range. So, you know, definitely went up to uh, double and then shrunk back down to its initial price. And so for me, again, I think that this is book a book that is probably worth still picking up 
I 100% believe that we're going to get Taskmaster again in the MCU. It doesn't matter if you don't like the version of the character or whatever. If we're talking about it just from an investment uh, standpoint, you know, just have a, having a book uh, that the comic market will go crazy for, it doesn't matter if you like the version, if it's the female version or whatever, this is a book that will 100% be riding the coattails of the excitement of the Taskmaster coming back or not. And so uh, this is something that I think is really interesting. And again, once they're in the MCU, uh, there is, one, uh, in my opinion, a very, very strong chance that they will appear again. Additionally, here at the 9.8 grade, you can see it is a book that has actually uh, kind of been yo-yoing. I think that there was a, a kind of an anomaly sale recently, a uh, pretty big high. Uh, but you can see, generally speaking, this book is on the dip. Uh, so right here in the middle of the summer, you can see maybe we're sitting around that $2,000, $2,500 range or so, uh, a high sale of $3,000 right here. And then now, last couple sales, we're back at that $1,794, $2,500. So, and then a couple sales here you see in June. Look at this, someone got some steals, $1,200, $1,400, $1,500, $1, etc. So definitely a book that is on the dip, sort of at the 9.8, not quite as severe as the 9.6, which I think you can get you know, really good opportunity. Additionally, the 9.4, you could also find a really good opportunity. You can see there's the dip coming on right there. And then the, the raw grades also sort of follow this particular chart. But again, Avengers 196, I do think that you know Marvel was setting up the fact that Taskmaster is going to reappear. I mean, I think with everything going on with the character of Val played by uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, I think what, everything that she's doing, she's obviously recruiting a bunch of you know anti-heroes or villains or superheroes or whatever, whatever you want to call them. And I think that it's only a matter of time before we see her approaching Taskmaster as well. So Avengers 196, definitely, in my opinion, worth buying the dip, a character I think we will see again. All right, going on now to the third pick here. And the third pick is actually going to be Captain America 354, first appearance of John Walker as U.S. agent. Now, this is an interesting book because of the fact that, you know, we have Cap 323, which is also another book that features the first appearance of John Walker. But this kind of goes into that, you know, discussion of do we like first appearances of of characters or do we like first appearances of characters as the version of their superhero form? Uh, regardless, both of these are key books. And actually this was the Cap 323 was actually mentioned in the Go Collect article. So I did want to highlight 354 because what? how did we leave John Walker at the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier? Well, we obviously saw him in the US agent uniform. He was called US agent by Val. And it is definitely presumed that he is going to be reprising his role in some kind of way uh, later on in the future. So this is a book that I think is really, in my opinion, I think this is the money book as far as uh, what it relates to John Walker and US Agent, even more so than Cap 323. And this is a book, of course, like all the books that relate to the Disney Plus shows, got extremely hot in the market uh, once we got that moment. And then now on the other end of the show, uh, we're definitely taking the nosedive. So uh, let's just kind of look right here. We'll just kind of go through the grades. 9.4 for 354. You can see, uh, you know, as expected, similar chart here uh, goes super, super hot during Falcon and Winter Soldier and then kind of falls down to, you know, basically you're at a level that is you know, pre-2021 uh, levels. So definitely a good time to buy, in my opinion. Uh, another one here at the 9.6, you can see similar charts. Again, you're at levels pre-2021. Uh, and then the 9.8 grade, I believe a similar flow chart here. Yes, a similar chart. You can see going up during, uh, you know, cap uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier and then kind of falling off to the point where now, it, again, still right around 2020 numbers, but slightly above it. Uh, this one's hard in the 9.8s. I think actually this particular book is a hard one to find in 9.8 grades. But again, we got Wyatt Russell playing Captain America uh, or US, the new Captain America and then going to US agent. That's where we left him. Uh, we are 100% going to see him again. And like you would do in smart investments with stocks or crypto or whatever the case may be, you absolutely want to be buying the dip. All right, let's go on now to the second book here. And the second book I have is Journey into Mystery, number 85. And what is the significance of this? Well, of course, this is the first appearance of Loki. Now, this is, of all the books on the list, this one has, you know, dipped the least, I would say, overall, as far as like the, uh, you know, the, the, the numbers are concerned. But we still have seen a minor dip for this particular book. Of course, we all know Loki got super hot during the Loki show. Uh, and this is the one that is the closest to us of the shows that I've talked so far. So maybe this one is still uh, dipping, so to speak. But at the end of Loki, we got, you know, that uh, reference that we are going to get a season two. So 
like we know with the comic book market, as soon as we start to get news or images or trailers or whatever for season two, this book will 100% be getting hot again. And this is a character that is going to be playing a role in the MCU uh, forever. I mean, Tom Hiddleston has already made mention of the fact that he will play Loki so long as Marvel will let him do it. So I don't think that they're ever going to kill him again. And I don't think that we're ever going to be in a Marvel world without Loki uh, ever again. But you can see here, again, another book that skyrocketed uh, at the top of the year uh, at the height of Loki here in May. Average prices for a 3.5 grade were around the $4,000 range. And now we're here in you know October and the average price has dipped back down to 3,000. So uh, you know, you're getting a $1,000 discount overall. Now, uh, this one is also, it doesn't have a particularly large sample size across the board. There's only one sale. So this was the only grade that I can kind of show you guys as far as uh, the book taking a dip. Uh, but you can, you know, anecdotally, you can find copies now on eBay that are maybe slightly uh, discounted uh, as to where they were at the height of Loki. And this is an important book. This is a great character and one that is absolutely going to play a role again and will 100% be getting hot again uh, once we get Tom Hiddleston in the next property. So definitely worth picking up this book if you can afford it. Again, it's still gonna be a very, very expensive book. All right, let's go now to my last book that I highly recommend buying the dip for if this is a book that you wanna invest in. And this one is actually gonna be X-Men number four, first appearance of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, first parents of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. But you know, for the sake of me talking about this book, of course I'm gonna be talking about it specifically for the fact that this is the first appearance of Scarlet Witch. And of course, we have Elizabeth Olsen who is playing Scarlet Witch. This book got extremely hot during WandaVision. And similar to Shang-Chi, the special Marvel edition book, I feel like this one has taken some of the biggest dips uh, relative to you know its height at the time in which it was you know popping off when we had the height of WandaVision. So you can see right here, this is a 3.0 grade. Uh, just kind of taking a look at the charts, you know you can just kind of feel it looking at that dip right there. And again, just to show you guys some of the numbers, I mean if we're looking at uh, you know the most recent sales, you can see. 2300, 1600, 1600, 1600 in the last couple of months. But then if we go back to earlier in the year, you can see this is a book that was consistently at the 25, 23, 2000, 25, 23, 2400. So definitely a book that has corrected quite a bit. And uh, which is crazy to me because of all the books that, you know, I've talked about so far uh, in this particular video, uh, you know, all of these characters, I think it is very, very sh uh, safe to assume that they're all going to be showing up. But Scarlet Witch is 100% going to be showing up uh, confirmed in Doctor Strange 2. So this one is definitely a book that will get hot uh, as soon as you know the top of next year. And for that reason, I think that this is a great time to reacquire this book. If this is a book that you sort of always wanted, or maybe this is a book that you want to you know invest in once again. And I actually think that you know for sure this book can absolutely get to where it was at its peak uh, when we're leading up to Doctor Strange, especially when we get those trailers. Uh, hell, it could even surpass where it was. I mean, it feels like the Agatha Harkness book uh, is absolutely on the trajectory to past its current initial highs. Uh, just showing you guys here some other grades, 4.0, you can see similar kind of evolution of this particular book. Uh, and then if we go to some other grades, maybe a 6.0 here, I'm just trying to find the ones that have a uh, larger sample size. You can see similar trajectory here. Uh, another book that has definitely uh, not necessarily fallen off the cliff, but we're sort of back down to that early January prices uh, for this particular book. So definitely in my opinion, I think X-Men number four, first appearance of Scarlet Witch is absolutely a book that is worth buying the dip for. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Those are sort of my top five books that I think are you know great purchases right now as far as buying, buying the dip is concerned. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to be buying the dip? Drop me a like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I will see you in the next video.